Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I'm holding the camera like that. But today's video is going to be the long-awaited bathroom makeover. I'm so excited, but I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so happy to get this video out to you guys. And a lot of you were requesting it, so I'm very happy with that. But basically, it's the smallest apartment bathroom makeover. And that's probably what I'm going to name this video because it's such a small apartment bathroom. So, if you guys want to see how I transformed this tiny bathroom into this beautiful, luxury, modern style bathroom, then just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so this is the opening to my bathroom. If you was coming from my son's room, you can see this ugly ass flooring. That's the first thing I noticed when I walked into this bathroom. The next thing you'll see is all these cabinets. All these cabinets. Only thing I like about these cabinets is the fact that it has silver knobs. And then the bathroom sink. And it's just totally, it's trash. I think I'm a product junkie. Yep. My toilet, a mess. I got styling tools on top of it. I also want to get a new shower curtain rod because this one sucks. And I want to lift it a little higher. I got a new shower head. I don't like the shower head that I have now. That's the one that just came with the apartment. So I'm gonna take the leftover paint that I had from the first coat that I put on. I'm gonna go around the trim to make sure I don't miss any spots. So I'm trying to be as neat as possible. That way I don't get it all over the sink and stuff. Okay guys, so I got the second coat of paint on the cabinets. Okay guys, so I'm about to go ahead and go in with my marble contact paper. You guys have seen this stuff everywhere, all over YouTube, I'm sure. I ordered this from Amazon. I will put the link in the description just in case you guys want to pick this up. I do like my sink countertops, but being that I'm going with the marble theme for my bathroom. I thought this would tie everything together with the gray counters and everything like that. And then I'm also going to add a sealer around it. That way when I'm using water with it, I won't have to worry about it bubbling up or anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that right now.
So I just finished putting this right here. It's the Loctite Renew Your Coke Like New. It's like some caulk, basically. I just put it around this sink area to seal it in, protect it from the water. You should do it around the faucet, too. Put it around the faucet. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I put the doors on the cabinet and I went back around it. As you can tell, some parts I have to go over it with another coat, but I just filled in some creases that were peaking and things like that to make sure that it was a nice even coat. I just feathered it in on the side. So basically I'm done painting around the borders of the wall. As y'all can see, is white, and some of it did get on the floor. I did two coats all the way around, all the way around the bathtub. And yes, yeah, some of it did get on the floor, but it would come up easily, and I could have used tape, but I plan on putting the floor down So right now, so it's no point. But I do like the way it came out. I also went around the walls, where I got gray on the walls. It looks much better than it was before. And you guys, you know I'm not professional, I mean, is my first time painting, like I told y'all. Right now, I'm gonna be taking these hardwood, I mean hardwood, I'm thinking I'm in the other video. I'm gonna be taking these marble stick-on tiles, as you can see here, press one, like the ones I did for my hardwood floor tutorial. And I'm gonna be putting this on my bathroom floor all over. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that right now. Basically, just like I did the other floors, I swept first already, I mopped first already. Boom, you just peel, peel it off. It doesn't leave a sticky residue, it stays on, it doesn't pop up and stuff like that. These are all questions that I would get in. It's easy to come up when you're ready to take it off. And yeah. You guys, let's check out the tripod. This is so pretty, but this is so annoying to put together. I had to literally cut my ass off to make Okay guys, so the bathroom floor is now almost done, but it's not completely done yet. So I basically have put down all of the towel that I can. I fit it around the toilet as best as I could. It's not the most perfect job and I still am I still need to add a little part right here and fix this back here. It looks pretty decent in the middle. Now all I have to do is add my bath rugs and things like that. But I do really love the way the floors turned out. It feels really good on my feet. It's so comfy and yeah, it looks fancy. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these light bulbs out of this little um, vanity light and I'm going to scrub it because it's kind of rusty. And I also got this Rust-Oleum Rust remove rust dissolver spray and um i'm gonna spray that up there after i go ahead and clean it first and we'll see how it turns out and then i'm gonna add my new light bulbs
Okay guys, so I'm basically done cleaning this and look how freaking silver it got. I scraped all that rust off with just a little steel wool and some all purpose. And it's so crazy that I didn't even need to use this rust stuff. But I just sprayed this rust gel all over it and it's like a gel when it come out, ew. And I sprayed it all over it and I had on gloves when I did that and I rubbed it all over it. And I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes just to break down any more little rust that it may have but i think it looks really good shiny and ready to be put back on the wall now i'm going to go ahead and take these ge daylight light bulbs and these are the energy saving light bulbs and they're 25 watt i'm going to go ahead and screw these in Okay guys, so I'm about to go ahead and take these, these smart towels and these are the stick on towels and I'm going to go ahead and start what I was going to do in my project. So I'm going to bring you guys closer so y'all can see better. This is how we're looking outside of the packaging. It's really flimsy like that and it's so pretty. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to measure it and cut it and paste it. I went all the way around it. This was a hundred dollars worth of freaking backsplash towels. So it's not affordable, not so affordable, but it's still cute. It's really cute actually. So this is the two shower heads that I was telling you guys about that I have to choose from. And this is the one that I'm thinking about putting on my shower. 
and this is how it looks up close. And it's just a cute little shower head. Well, it's not little at all. It's a big shower head, actually. And it has like the rainfall effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up here. I love how you can kind of see yourself in it. So I have this mini Zen garden and it comes with a little Buddha. It comes with some rock, a bridge, a wood rake, sand, and a base. So this is how it comes. And that's the sand right there. You just put all the contents in there. I'm gonna do mine exactly like this picture right here. So, and I think I'm gonna set that on the back of my toilet stool. Yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this Delta three-piece bath set and it's basically just the toilet tissue roll, the little rod to hang your towels as well as a towel hook and I have that because I wanted to spice up my bathroom and give it an overall new look with the chrome accessories. So I'm just waiting for them to dry and then I'm going to come back and decorate them. Yeah, so I just want to show you guys how I'm folding my towels. This is how I have it folded. And now I folded up this rag right here. I'm just going to stuff it in the inside here and let it spread out just like that. And it gives it a nice look. I think I'm going to turn it around because the tag is on this side. 
stuff it and spread it out. You see, it gives it that pleated look. If I could do it right. Yeah, guys, so I want to show you that I had to tie a hair bobo around it to get it to stay in its shape. Now I'm going to just go ahead and add the next one. All right, I'm going to leave them alone. They look pretty good. Okay, so y'all seen before how bad the bathroom looked. This is the after. Ta-da! Yay, guys. Do you see how open and bright it is? It is like a total 360. It looks like a totally different bathroom. As soon as you walk in, you see a total difference. Like, you see this beautiful marble floors. And, and these are the marble tiles I showed you guys in my video. And those bath rugs that I got are from Walmart and they were five bucks a piece. And then you see the beautiful shower curtains that I love. So what I decided to do was I kept the shower rod that came with the apartment being that it was silver but it is very janky so, and i just used that to hold my shower liner i also got a new shower rod which curves which is what i wanted and i added my shower curtain to that and i just put these beautiful little diamond to, the shower hooks to hold it and that one has beautiful little crystal like rhinestone thingies on it as well and i just think it makes my bathroom have a beautiful open look i love the white it just makes me feel so clean you know so when you open the shower curtain this is the fun part okay so when you open the shower curtain let me give you an overview this is how it looks and when you look inside my shower the first thing you see is this beautiful backsplash that i decided to put in so it's like around the tub toweling and i just love this towel because it has those little marble pieces integrated into it as i was showing you guys in one of my vlogs it's really good quality it feels really nice it doesn't feel cheap at all taking showers in this with this up here more than once nothing has peeled off i also went around it with some caulking up above it just to make sure i have a safe seal i also went ahead and added some little um soap savers in each of the little spots to save our soap as well as this little clear soap dish then as you come over you see my shower head it is so so pretty guys and do you not understand i thought this would be like weak and not powerful oh was i wrong this shower head is so powerful i absolutely love it and it was only 13 bucks you guys 13 bucks i live and since it moves and it's just so pretty it's like a mirror you can see yourself in it uh, i really love that shower head you see the cabinets and as you can see, I gave them a nice gray paint job. The Valspar Gravity Paint and the satin finish was just perfect for what I was trying to do. Hardware, I added these beautiful crystal knobs that I found at Lowe's. And I think it just set it right off to a great start. Also did that for these bottom ones as well. And I adore it. Then I also have great counter space. And what I decided to go ahead and do was put down some marble contact paper on my counters and i think it gave it a great look it made it look totally different it looks really really good i went ahead and added my bath accessories i have my little blinged out tray that you guys seen in my apartment vlog i have my little vanity mirror and it's a nice gray so i just leave it there for when i'm doing like makeup touch-ups i have this beautiful vase that i got from home goods and i added some flowers that i got from Kohl's inside of there i love that you will see this beautiful towel hook that i added because the one that they had before was absolutely disgusting it was 
Cricut and it was gold. You see my vanity bar that I cleaned, but I cleaned the rust off of it and it still has like a little smudging, but it looks way, way better. I added some different light bulbs. They are the Daylight Light Bulbs by GE. They look great. I kept the same mirror. I thought about getting a different mirror, but I do like how wide and big this mirror is and how simple it is. A Yankee Candle in the White Gardena scent. Also, I have my fake clear sonic brush inside of my little clear organizer my pro enamel toothpaste a lorac lip gloss some poopery some q-tips as well as some hair perfume from herbivore so as you move over you see my toilet and yes guys the toilet is still the same i cleaned it down but right on top of the toilet i added this little zen garden that i think is absolutely gorgeous and it just makes me feel like a good vibe and i just put it on the back of the toilet Right above the toilet, I have my Think Clean little picture that I got from Home Goods. You guys have seen this before as well. As you come over to this side of the bathroom, you see these towels. And they are really, really pretty. And I just folded them in a unique way. It was super easy to do. Oh, and also this towel rack is different i added a new one the old one i had was really outdated and rusty above that i have my little square cubes that i painted the same gray as the shelves because i wanted to tie in that gray color on those shelves i have some skincare products above that i have a little marble bowl that i use to mix natural products together and it's just fancy looking and right next to that i have this faux plant little smallest cube I have a lush bath bomb in there and right above that I have an air freshener with the little bamboo sticks that you cut that come with it and I got that from TJ Maxx I'm so short guys sorry and right next to that I in the second to the smallest square I have a Mac lip scrub as well as my Sunday Riley and a Smashbox primer water but I just have a towel hanging there for when I get out the shower as well as my washcloth when I wash up. And yeah guys, so that is basically it for my bathroom makeover. I hope that you guys and girls enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends so that they can see how to transform their small apartment bathroom on a budget and still leave with their deposit. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and until next time, deuces!